Welcome back to the Four Mile Circus. Here we are again, playing the game. Uh, I've been digging in the crates over on the itch and found some beauties to look at. The first up is a game called uh, Creativity by uh, the Mad Men at Cabazotta Cabazotta. I think they're an Argentinian company. And um, they're trying to unlock our creativity. Uh, they're saying that, um, that sometimes we convince ourselves that creating something is impossible and that is a prison from which we must escape. So it's more of an experience, it's a chance to play. You start on this sort of barren planet with a curse you don't quite understand what it's doing. It takes me a while, you're watching my learning curve here. I eventually work out to drag the cursor and Bob's your uncle, we're into here. And this, th those lines are following, following my cursor. And uh, it uh, doesn't matter how fast or slow you move it, they just sort of sit behind it and follow it nicely. And um, it's just a bit of fun. I, it, the best review for this game could be my daughter's face when she watched me playing it. It was just sort of a joyous happiness. She thought it was fantastic. And I can see that you could just sit and while away 10 minutes, you know, joining the darts like this. It's a lot of fun. Um, and um, I found it sort of trance-like. If you get it yourself at the right time of day, <laughs> the right ebb, then uh, I, I sat and did this for like 15, 20 minutes and totally enjoyed myself. Um, so it's um, this. I said it's uh, it's developed by um, uh, Cabazotta, which is uh, Nicolas Recabaran. Sorry about the pronunciations and the music, which I really like. The distorted music is by uh, Thomas uh, Batista. Um, yeah, I really like the music. It's like. It's like being trapped inside a sort of daydream or something like that. I, uh, I enjoyed it. So yeah, it's free. Head yourselves over to Itch and um, and download it. Give them some uh, some feedback and uh, let them feel the love. Just crazy, it's a totally crazy game. Okay, so moving on now, back into the crates. We are looking at a game called um, Let It Float Away, and this is by Rain. Uh, and again, it's more of an experience. Totally enjoyed it. To start with, I'd like to bring your attention to the, uh, the musical score, which is lovely. Very thoughtful, very peaceful. Um, and it's, it's basically, you're here and you, you can float things down this river. There, there are some notes um, which doesn't work yet. There are notes that you can write upon. So you can basically, the idea is to write your thoughts or ideas on a, on a piece of paper and then set them on top of a leaf and watch them float away down the stream. Again, another sort of peaceful, peaceful experience, but the note writing doesn't work yet. They're the notes there, but you can't write on them yet. You can sort of type them in, but you can't actually put them on the leaf. That's to come. Um, and there is a little uh, a little boat as well, which you can um, which you can use, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I really liked it. It's um, it's kind of a limited area. You can only walk around the immediate area. I did. I don't know whether. I, oh yeah, I do try here to sort of run around and escape. Uh, yeah, so it's um, it's just in this area only, and I don't know if there's any plans to expand that. I don't really need to do do it. Um, It's just so peaceful. So um, yeah, this is the uh, this is the game itself. I think I get a bit clever here and start chucking leaves in like a madman. Madman, madman. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get a few going here. Leaf racing. But I'd recommend it. I think you should head over to uh, to itch and uh, download it. As I say, it's called Let It Float Away, and it's by um, it's by Rain. And I'd be interested to see uh, what more is to come of this. Yeah, I found it quite enjoyable. Okay, the next game is called um, Silent Autumn, and that's by uh, Konev Ikonov at uh, Tile Games. It's a sort of reflex tester. You're going down this um, this country lane. The idea is that you're going down a country lane the autumnal, through an autumnal wood and uh, you're trying to preserve the silence um, and what you've got to try and do is, is avoid, you can see the sort of leaves that are on the track there, you've got to avoid, jump, switch tracks to avoid those leaves. If you don't, um, the spirit of the uh, forest will hear you and he'll catch you and punish you. So there he is, there he is, the, 
the red block bastard chasing me down. So I think these are placeholders at the moment, the blue block and the red block. Blue block is us, red block is the spirit. Um, it's sort of a prototype at the moment. So, But uh, you tread on a branch, the spirit appears, you tread on another branch. I don't know what he does to you, but he, he takes you away to his special place, treats you like his own. Um, I, I found it really peaceful, actually. It's, it, it's a bit of a eye strainer, trying to keep up with it. But um, once you get into the rhythm of it, I found I could play it, you know, for for good lengths of time and just sort of sort of a mind sort of send your mind somewhere else you can sort of relax whilst you're doing this um, I like the score the soundtrack I can't remember the name of the gut the soundtrack I think it's a it's called the crack of a branch and I think it's by Beak One I might have that wrong but um, it's a good package I like it and uh, it's certainly worth um, heading yourselves over to um, itch and downloading it for free and giving them some feedback and see if you can Outwit this. Here he comes. He's coming for me, the big red bastard. Move. Uh, out, I outfoxed him yet again. Um, and you get, there's a running record to show you how far you've got, what, you've, what your furthest run is. So you can sort of look to improve upon that. But there you go. That's called Silent Autumn. Head over to Itch and download that. I think it's well worth it. He's got me. He's got me. Okay, and the uh, the final game of today is the incredible story of Peter by That Snillet, which is the uh, sandbox, randomly generated open world where you're spreading the magic of pizza to quote the man himself. So as you can see, you're a pizza delivery boy. You've got to come in here, quickly get your orders, quickly check your recipes there, blah, 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 and then make your pizza. Uh, you do that by sort of rolling out the dough. Um, you add tomato sauce, you add the toppings that have been specified by the client and then you've got to deliver the bad boy. Um, I found it really fun. I think it's actually, I've done a quick let's let, uh, play through of it, but I could probably play this for 20 minutes and record all of that. You're basically trying to pay off a debt that someone's lent you to start up the pizza area. Pizza area, area, area. You've got to pay back a thousand dollars. I, you know, as you'll see in a second, I found real fun just getting on the, on the moped and delivering. So you've got to cook the pizza, got to check the temperature, and you've got to deliver the pie while it's hot, with a little temperature checker there. Hot enough yet? Not hot enough, not hot enough. There's your bike, source of great fun. I've had great fun on that already, razzing around these uh, randomly generated maps. And you can see the marker there where I've got to deliver the pizza. So you've got to deliver the pizza before it gets cold. You've got to take it a pizza. You gotta drive at a scooter. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'll shut up. So this, I found this real fun. This is great fun. <laughs> Slightly unresponsive scooter. It's good fun. Quick delivery here. Um, as I say, each map is randomly generated, so it's different each time. And uh, I think I think it's well worth a go. I really enjoyed it. I think you should head over to um, itch and download it for free. Give some feedback. It's a prototype at the moment, and it was made using the Unreal Engine 4, and it was for the awful Winter Jam. 2018 uh, again the incredible story of pizza but as I say I might do a full uh, a full sort of 10-15 minutes let's play on this because it's um, it's different each time and, it, and it, it's quite a blast so there you go I hope you enjoyed that the world of pizza making and I'd recommend with uh, with all the games that you've seen today of you heading over to itch and uh, trying them out for yourselves it's just little snapshots I try and show people try and get them interested and see if they'll head over there and download it for themselves but there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll do another one of these at the weekend. And uh, you take care of yourselves. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button. Or even better, subscribe. Right, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.